Saturday morning, about 7 a.m., August the 3rd. We had that wonderful blessing of rain last night, and I checked the gauge this morning, and it was about an inch and a quarter. Wasn't a gully washer, but uh, it was just perfect. Now you come up over here behind the big barrier wall and uh, you get out here where things are just not doing so well. And we'll use our visualization stick here and just find a place where I can. All right, this might be a good spot. Okay. And we'll put that down there and we'll see if we can get down here too. And you see that, you know, not so good. And that's pretty much the way it is out here. Now the other thing I was going to show you as I walked back up here was the uneven planting here. Uh, missing. Here's another spot. Missing. It gets worse as you go on up here. More missing. 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 And these places like this, I'm showing you right through here where there's plants missing because uh, something went wrong. Uh, you know, you didn't get a plant in the spot where it should have been. You got, <clears throat> like right here, you see this weed matter come up in here. And uh, if you don't get a canopy, you can fight weeds all year long. And you can see, if I get up here, this is where I've been pulling up here. You can see ground disturbed. Weeds are pulling really easy. Ground's good and wet. Missing. And uh, this will give you a good visualization. This is about how far up I've gotten this morning pulling. I've got it clean. Working a couple of, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Working about nine rows on the way up the hill. That's the next nine rows over there. And I'm just about up to here, but. You can see the ground disturbed right in here where I pulled out a bunch of water hemp. Uh, pulled up a little bit of morning glory. But this spot right here, if I can get back to this tomorrow afternoon, this sickle pod right here has not made seed yet. And Liberty will kill it. So I can spray that sickle pod. Spraying something's a whole lot easier than pulling it. But you can see over here, missing plants and that's that's the plague on this field there's just a lot of spots as you get up on this hill that things just did not come up and there is a pure disaster spot that's a nice water hemp plant let's see how tall is that <laughs> yeah <laughs> shame that's not a valuable crop but right over there big giant spot missing uh, I, I tried something up here last week and let's see, I came up here and looked at it after three days. We'll go over here and look at it again. But you can just see how much missing plants there are up here on this hill. And wherever you don't have soybean plants, you are going to have weeds. Now, I had to be real careful doing this and it didn't work real well. You can see the, uh, sickle pod burnt a little bit dwarfed a little bit right here I mean I didn't get much of a kill it was an act of desperation on this spot to try and knock uh, weed seed production down I come up here with glyphosate of course these are Liberty beans so I had to be careful not to spray it on the beans it would have done a better job killing the beans than it has done on the weeds and the reason I did it with glyphosate is because it'll be quite a few years before I go back to glyphosate. So if there was any seed on these weeds, uh, I'm not worried about them becoming glyphosate resistant or tolerant because as you can see, they pretty much already are. Uh, but it's just pitiful up here on this hill. It, uh, just did not, beans just did not come up up here. Cousin explained it to me this way, and I like his explanation. I planted this field, and soil was dry. 
probably should have waited. <clears throat> and up here on the top of this hill, it just didn't have enough moisture to support the plants. And what he said was the seed germinated and then there was not enough moisture to support it, so it turned right around and died. But you can see this is a right good little spot where this happened here. And uh, there's another spot over there, not as big as this one. But the field's going to actually pay for itself. Uh, now that was interesting right there. That was water hemp. And the glyphosate actually did that to it. Uh, that was a big old water hemp. It ain't dead. It's just stunted slightly. But there's still, this over here gets back to pretty. And there's not a lot of missing spots over there. I got a little water hemp down through there. Mostly across there, it's clean. Um, the field pay for itself. There's enough beans out here that I can get the investment back. But it's just a shame that this happened. Uh, I'm using the more expensive Liberty program to try to get rid of the uh, weed seed bank. And this right here, well, that's going to add a lot of weed seed to it. But here's what it is. Make the best of it. This is my excrement field this year. I've got five fields this year. Four of them are nice, beautiful, look real good, considering how dry we've been around here. This field with this big giant ball spot up here, and then what I was showing you, the missing plants as I walked up here, uh, this is my not so good field this year. I'll call this the excrement show. Well, let me get back to pulling weeds. I got about another hour I can spend out here. I've got a decent little amount on the truck. I'll show you when we get back down there. I got to put this stick up. It belongs to Mrs. Soybean Farmer. She's kind enough to let me use it. And I don't want to throw it down on the ground out here. And, and I don't have my gloves on. I'm not pulling weeds without gloves. But as I walk back down through here, you can see more of this <clears throat> missing bean plants and didn't, didn't germinate or want enough moisture in the ground to support them when it was so dry. That was the very thing that caused me to not plant the Allen field after I had it worked up that day. That ground was like powder, powder dry. And I'd had that failure last year in the six acre piece when it was way too dry. I didn't get rain for 21 days after I planted it and it was a bigger catastrophe than this. Couple that with the super late harvest because of all the rain last year and then everything got snowed on. I mean, last year was a interesting year. That was the first time I ever had beans in the field that got snowed on. But these right here is that I'm walking through, you know, Let's see. Yeah, see, yardstick goes down in there like that. <coughs> These are nice. And in fact, this entire field last year looked like this right here. Uh, shame it doesn't this year. Oh, dropped one. Let's see. Yeah, come here. All right. Here's what I've managed to get so far this morning. Boom, respectable load. And I'll just keep fighting it. I figured the ground will stay wet for about five days of easy pulling. So I've knocked a nice dent right out through there this morning. And maybe I'll get that piece there before I have to go to work the cigar shop today. Uh, everybody, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Bye y'all.